Hello art students, this is Mrs. Myers and today we are going to be doing step one of our family totem pole drawing. So the first step is doing the drawing and we will need a piece of white paper. You're going to need your pencil with an eraser and you will need a marker, a black marker, scissors and a ruler. So the first step is measuring out our paper so that it's the size that we need in order to be able to later wrap it around our toilet paper roll. So the first thing you want to do is take your ruler. You're gonna put it to the edge of the paper all the way at the end where the first mark is. And you're gonna measure it to six and a half inches long. So that is in between the six and the seven, that long line that's right in half in the middle of those two. You're gonna make a little mark right there for six and a half inches on your paper. And you're going to take your ruler and place it at the edge of your paper so that the first mark is at the top of your paper. And you're gonna make a little mark at the four inches mark. So right where the four is, make a little mark. So now you can either use your ruler and trace that out, but basically um, I'm jumping ahead just so it's a little bit faster. After you have your paper that is four and a four by six and a half inches, you're gonna take your scissors and cut it out, okay? And once you cut it out, it will look something like this all right so you'll have your little rectangle now that will perfectly wrap around your toilet paper roll so if you uh, chose mostly C's that means that your animal that your animal personality is an elephant so I want to show you guys how to draw an elephant using basic geometric shapes which is commonly used in the Native American totem poles. Um, when they are doing animals, they are made out of geometric shapes. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So the first thing that we're going to do is do the top of our elephant's head with a curved line. So I'm just gonna start um, maybe about here and make a big curved line for my elephant's head. The next thing I want to do is kind of mark out where I want the nose to kind of fit. And I want it to curl so that it can fit on this wide, long paper um, since it's a little short. I'm going to start in the middle and curve around like the letter J, okay? And then I'm going to show how thick I want the trunk of my elephant to be. So I'm going to do another line that comes around another letter J and I'm going to just do a curve like a heart on the end okay so now I have my elephant nose right uh, or trunk right there so the next thing we can go ahead and do is bring this curved line go ahead and meet it to the trunk just draw it on bring it on in so it meets the next thing we want to do are the elephant's large, triangular type of ears. So I'm going to try to make a triangle-ish type of ear with a line that comes out this way, a line that comes out this way, and I'm going to bring it in, make another line that's coming in, and Go ahead and close it up with another line that comes towards the head of the elephant, like that. So now we have our elephant ears. Now I wanna go ahead and put in some eyes, which I'm just gonna go ahead and make some circles for my eyes on either side, or ovals, it's up to you. If you wanna do another uh, circle or oval inside, it's totally up to you. I wanna go ahead and give those trunks, not the trunk, I'm sorry, the tusk, the tusk coming out of the side. 
by making uh, two triangles that are coming out. I'll make a triangle there and a triangle there. Okay. And since my tr uh, tusks are on top, I'm gonna erase the line that's on the inside. And now we have our basic elephant type of um, outline. So the next thing I wanna do is take my black marker so you guys can see it a little bit better. I'm gonna trace all of my lines nice and carefully with the black Sharpie or marker or black crayon if that is all that you have. Take your time, stay on your line. thing I want to do is to add some pattern to my elephant so it really has a um, the stylized look of the totem poles so I want to go ahead and do a pattern on my trunk and I'm just going to repeat some lines totally up to you what you want to repeat whatever different uh, line you want to repeat or shape it's up to you all right and I'm going to do, um, I think I'm gonna do a wavy line. I'll repeat a wavy line pattern on the ears. And you can do, if you wanted to do shapes, you could have did shapes. If you want to do lines, it's up to you. Whatever type of line you wanna do, whatever type of pattern you wanna make. But I just thought I would do some wavy lines to kind of resemble the wrinkles in um, an elephant. Alright, the next thing that I'm going to do is do some do some shapes on my elephant on the head. I'm just gonna just choose to do um, some triangles. Just to show you that you can repeat shapes as well to make your patterns. Totally up to you. going to only do a few more. I don't think I'm going to do it all throughout the base. I think that's good. Maybe on the edge here. There you go. Alright. And there I go. I have my stylized um, elephant with pattern. And I'm going to go ahead and do a pattern in the background too because we're going to have that paper that we can utilize as well to cover up the paper towel roll. So I want to do some type of design in the background. So I'm just going to choose to do some straight lines in the background. You can do whatever pattern or that you would like to use. Lines or shapes. There we go. Have my elephant totem pole drawing. 